Number 10. Just as World War II was erupting, Canada's Prime Minister Mackenzie King was photographed with King George VI and Queen Elizabeth of England. But when the photograph was used on an election poster for the Prime Minister, the George had gone missing. One theory about why Mackenzie King would remove George VI from the picture is that it would make him look more powerful if he was in the frame with the Queen only. Number 9. When the editor-in-chief of Ogonek, a Russian magazine, ran a picture of a Soviet flag being raised over the German Reichstag building during World War II, he removed a watch from the wrist of one of the soldiers in the picture. Why? Some experts who studied the picture think it's because the soldier had watches on both wrists, which would have suggested that he might have stolen the second watch during a looting expedition, shedding a negative light on the regime. Number 8. Remember April 12, 1961? That's the day a Russian team of cosmonauts, led by Yuri Gagarin, completed their orbit of Earth, the first humans to accomplish this. When they returned, a picture of the team was taken. But a while later, cosmonaut Grigory Nelyubov was expelled from the space program for drunk and disorderly conduct. So he was removed from the picture, as if he'd never been a part of this impressive feat in the first place. Number 7. In this Pulitzer Prize-winning photograph taken by John Philo during the nightmarish Kent State University shootings in 1970, Marianne Vecchio screams as she kneels over the body of student Jeffrey Miller. This horrifying scene became one of the iconic images of that dreadful day when armed National Guard soldiers fired into a crowd of demonstrators, killing four and wounding nine others. In the original photo, a fence post behind Marianne's head was deemed visually distracting by an unknown photo editor and was removed. The modified photo went on to be printed in prestigious publications like Life magazine. Number 6 Soviet leader Joseph Stalin was notorious for not only having his enemies taken out in real life, but for airbrushing them out of pictures too. As they fell out of his good graces, Stalin would make them disappear from photographs. In this image, you can see a commissar who, poof, disappears from the picture after Stalin decided to rub him out of it. Number 5 just like Stalin, the chairman of the Chinese Communist Party, Mao Zedong, was known for removing people who rubbed him the wrong way. He'd remove them from office, from the country, and from pictures. Just like in this image in which we see Po Ku, a leading figure of the Communist Party of China, and now we don't. Number 4 this famous picture shows General Ulysses S. Grant in front of his troops at City Point, Virginia in 1864 during the American Civil War, five years before he became the 18th president of the nation. Years later, Library of Congress researchers determined that the picture was actually made up of three separate prints. Grant's head was taken from one of his portraits. The horse and his body aren't even his. They were Major General Alexander M. Cook's. And finally, the background is really Confederate prisoners captured at the Battle of Fisher's Hill, Virginia. Photoshopping way before it even existed, folks. Number 3. Italian Prime Minister Benito Mussolini wanted to look more heroic and courageous in this iconic photo, so he had the horse handler removed from the original picture. It's kind of like erasing training wheels off a bicycle. Number 2 German Fuhrer Adolf Hitler was a bit of an egotist himself, and that's an understatement. Like Stalin and Mao, the head of Nazi Germany was an expert at tampering with pictures. In this doctored photograph, Hitler's Reich Minister of Propaganda, Joseph Goebbels, was removed. We don't really know why Goebbels was erased, but maybe Hitler ate something that didn't agree with him that morning. Number 1 it's a well-known fact that the standing portrait of Lincoln was created soon after the end of the Civil War. Although it's probably one of the most famous images of the 16th president, and copies of it hang in many classrooms around the country, Lincoln never actually posed for it. Instead, it seems an unknown entrepreneur created it by cutting out a headshot of Lincoln from a picture by Matthew Brady, the guy in the middle, and pasting it onto a portrait of the Southern leader, John Calhoun, the man on the right. Experts say this had to be done because there were no heroic style portraits done of the president in his lifetime. Other changes in the picture? In Calhoun's photo, papers on the table said, strict constitution, free trade, and the sovereignty of the states. Those words were changed to constitution, union, and proclamation of freedom in the Lincoln picture. Mm -hmm.